best transfer there has to be just one right it has to be only one i mean regardless of price tag you're asking me the best transfer this year best transfer best transfer doesn't matter the price tag i don't want to be biased man i just like hate being like a biased motherfucker but it has to be declan rice right like it, it, has, it just it has, can't there's no bias here it has to be <laughs> no. he's in I like mean, it has to be player of the season shouts yeah yeah i would say there is there are a few other shouts that that i can think of um in the in the same uh, vein as declan rice but uh, yeah this has to Fine be declan rice. Not, uh, no 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 uh, this has to be declan <laughs> rice uh, the i mean there are just a few reasons for this for number one is just uh, from where the team was and how much the elevation is how much you contribute to that is what a transfer how you define a transfer price tag is one thing but only in this case can i say that a 100 million player is probably worth way more than like how much we paid for it and we actually got a bargain and and just the character i feel like this guy is going to stay in arsenal for the next 5 6 7 8 years and he has a chance of being the captain he elevates the team uh, on the pitch outside of the pitch mentality wise everything wise defensively we become the best team in the world right now just because of him and his impact Mm-hmm. Um, and his availability throughout the season he's been there so like not not even like one injury i can't even remember if he had even a nibble um yeah. and i don't think in his career he's had that so, and and the most important thing is that he's converted from being a 6 to being an 8 and he has yeah. i think about like almost 20 goal contributions which is ridiculous for like uh, someone who's barely had any in previous seasons so that jump that uh, that uh, whole elevation of level and i feel like he's going to he's going to keep on elevating in that eight uh, role and he'll kind of be like 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 aaron ramsey for us but better defensively and weirdly i feel like more impactful so yeah for me he's it nothing nothing i can add i mean for me the same shout but i have one question for you here going forward who, who like what position do you think arsenal need a player in does declan rice uh, stick to the eight role or the six role and you know where does he go next season what's his best position uh, his best position is right now this sort of like 6 8 hybrid that he's uh, that arteta has created for him um, and yeah i think that's i think we do need a pure 6 to play with him like we can see like when parthi came into the picture how how good declan rice started playing how good the whole team started performing but yeah he's he's changed to like arteta has completely changed his whole style Arteta has made him more aggressive, and that's exactly where he is going to thrive. Because he's a player who's been yeah. like held back. He started his career as a centre back. He went to more of like a number six for West Ham, and actually for West Ham he was doing everything. He was the main mm-hmm. midfield player. He was doing everything there. Uh, but for Arsenal, he has a very specific role. and that's where he's going to thrive he's just going to keep getting better at that role on the left channel when he's going to be defensively supporting the six and also offensively supporting the front three it's just perfect for him uh, his aggression his interceptions even counter pressing he's just he's there he's like a wall there so he wins the ball back for us he's going to go there inside and score and i predict this is just a prediction for next season he's going to start scoring a lot of headers he's going to start scoring a lot of like he's going to start coming into the box scoring goals he's going to start scoring long ranges like rodri has been so he'll kind of uh, next next season is the most exciting one when we'll see him get another cure in in the number 8 level yeah. um i mean as an arsenal fan all all that you said just puts a big smile on my face so run it over to bamsi what's your uh, biggest like best sub, uh, transfer the season can't believe it debating that it has to be cold be <laughs> right come on uh, 45 million i mean at that price point what a steal i mean chelsea were fucking dead in the water like i don't know what i don't know what chelsea was up to for like 30 years in the season <laughs> but cole palmer was clearly up to something right scoring he knew goals. he knew his skills he knew his skill set he had the belief <laughs> he's like i don't know you guys do whatever you want blow balloons or whatever like all the <laughs> shit <laughs> he's just there scoring goals creating chances and you know pep must be kicking himself you know letting uh, cole palmer go when grealish is still at the club criminal i mean you <laughs> you know people make mistakes right and uh, they essentially are without a right winger like if you think about it they are essentially without one so they have nobody to play there the grealish plays on the left doku plays on the left they put uh, bernardo silva Bernada. sometimes yeah so i mean it's working for them they are probably going to win the league still but uh, <laughs> Yeah, I think I know. 
that Cole was a miss. Bro. Yeah, yeah. Cole B, just what a player. I really liked watching him this season. Just really good attackingly and just <laughs> plays like a taku man. Like plays like a <laughs> plays a little like ice cold, which is like important like in the Premier League. Like and you know he has a peach on the left foot. Yeah. I hope he moves to like a better club than Chelsea. <laughs> so you think Chelsea's <laughs> It's not going to be back. Nah, bro. Not with Nkunku and Jackson up front. Like, it's just it's not happening. Like, you know That's what a... I see? A trident of Cole Palmer, Jackson, and Nkunku tearing Premier League up. When you have like Bowen scoring sixteen seven goals, you know, Son on seventeen. Like, the levels are different here, and these people are like not even in the Premier League race, right? Yeah. The people we're talking about. So That's the levels a... are different. Co- Controversial opinion, given that they are challenging for the fifth spot. I mean, they might just get Europa over Tottenham, United, Newcastle, yeah. uh, Brighton. I mean, if they get Europa, I think they are probably. I don't know. They just pulled off a blinder if they get Europa for me. Like I have, I was dead sure that they're going to they're going to finish eleventh or twelfth. Like up until six six weeks back, I was like, this club is done, and I was so happy about it. But unfortunately for me and other people who are not associated with Chelsea, they. Actually, did pretty well. Yeah. They did pretty well, I, man. I think uh, more fortunate now also. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. I feel like even even at the start of the season, there was a everyone knew. Like just looking at the underlying numbers, you knew that Chelsea was doing well. They were probably like for XG, they were like fourth or fifth like throughout the season. Um, X points, I mean, and they were. Uh, yeah. I, I just feel like whatever's happening right now is just a result of like the work that Chirino is putting in. Results happen, but eventually, whatever's happening now is is fair. And like they they've had a good season, I would say, considering where they were before. And I think Europa League is the best they could hope for because the top four teams are pretty strong at this point. Yeah. At least the top three and yeah. Aston Villa has just had a brilliant season. So uh, yeah, uh, AJ uh, completely keyboard agree. and volume a little bit. Okay, volume increase uh-huh. or decrease? Decrease and your keyboard. Okay. Flapping. Got it. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, okay, so so next one. 